Ave Gamers, Farrell Oman here, bringing you my non-pet Mag Sork. I'm wearing, as you can see, VMA Fire, Sororia. I have uh, purple Zons. I still need a trait change a piece. I usually rock a Lambrus, but everybody's been complaining that I don't do it, so... <laughs> I prefer Lambrus personally. I can be more mobile with it. Drop Atro, Blockade, Haunting Curse, Lit Lightning Flood, Ellie Weapon, Ellie, Ellie, Frag, Ellie. That's five, so one. Then our. Let's see, then we go one, two, three, four. And I have a frag on that one. Did I only count four on that? You count out five single targets. Three, four. Five, yep. And then when the Haunting Curse is up, don't reapply it. Next time I come back around, I'll put it back up. Always refreshing Lightning Flood every time you come back around. It's basically two seconds, one to two seconds behind Blockade. And you can kind of time it if you get used to where your Haunting Curse is. When it's at about five seconds, I got a bar swap to put up uh, my blockade because of the time of it. So I'm watching my haunting curse to kind of give me a judge of when to recast it. Mm, no game sound. Oh well. We're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> it's about a five minute parse for 66, uh, 65,000 on this one. Generally on this, like this is why I use the Witch Mother's Potent Brew. Um, I pulled 60, 66 with the Bloody Mara, but using the Lightning Sororia and heavy attacking every now and then, like every three rotations or so, doing th a three count on single targets, so like Frag, Ellie, Frag, or Ellie, 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 or etc., and then heavy attack one time. And I still pulled 66 with that, so I tried with the Potent Brew and Fire. And I think I had to, somewhere coming up pretty close because I'm getting really low, I felt that this next time, three, and then uh, one of these upcoming times, I do a big heavy attack phase. There we go. Miss a light attack there. Got to be careful about after you bar swap. There'll be problems sometimes with a light attack not coming out. So bar swap, hit the trigger, make sure to get that light attack out. I've been told it might be smoother to actually light attack weave your bar swap. So you would go light attack skill, light attack bar swap, skill, light attack skill. I've yet to try that one out. Uh, the timing of it's pretty crazy. One and, one E and. One and, one and, etc. It's a it's something else. Fifty six thousand on that. I was gonna say it. Fifty six k again. It's doing that. It's my frag, I think. Fifty six k frags. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's always fun. Thirty-two, thirty-two. Approaching execute.
after 20% instead of Ellie Weapon. Start using Mage's Wrath. Sixty five five two zero at five minute twenty one second Maelstrom Absorb Mag enchantment on infused precise with shock on a fire Sororia My Zons as I said, I had a trait I needed to change. I've got false gods I'm working on. Still got a trait change. A few of those or just farm out new ones. I don't chest farm. Purest tier, so... <laughs> and I will gold those out. I'm actually working on it currently. Double Bloody Mara for a group. Witch Mother's Potent Brew for stuff where you're feeling bad on sustain. For group because you get synergies and stuff. Spell Power Pots. I take my character over and uh, after this I see it's at 61.6 and I wanted to show peak. Crit. This is with that precise on front bar, Mother's Sorrow. So I just come over here and cast a skill until I can proc my frag. Gives you minor spell crit. Puts me up to 71.6%. I'm not even in a group yet, so there might even be a little more to wean from that. So I am using the Shadow Mundus. Champion points. 56 Elfborn, 64 Elemental, 20 Spell Erosion, 21 Staff Expert, since I'm weaving Ellie, 66 Master Arms, 48 Thaumaturge. Red Tree Changes. Depending on the instance you're in. Break free, dodge roll, block cost, all very important. Using uh, lightning flood. Come in. Be quiet. Elemental weapon off the Sigic skill line. Oh, I didn't capture the rest. Oh well. I'll just have to do a uh, another vid for the rest of it, for all the skills showing back bar and such. You guys saw in Parse, Blockade, Haunting Curse, using Ellie Drain, using Channeled Accelerate, Bound Aegis on back, Alterations for solo content, I put Boundless Storms instead of Bound Aegis, uh, Morph of Lightning Flood, and Power Surge, Power Surge, Morph of Surge, for heals and resistances and mobility. I put those on the back instead of channel and bound aegis. This is for solo, farming, VMA, etc. Um, and then otherwise your shield comes on. And sometimes I don't even run my shield. Sometimes instead I just run boundless storms instead of a shield using major and minor resistances from bound aegis and boundless storms. And then just smart stepping, not standing in red. Raid awareness, folks. It's highly uh, valuable. All right, the timer is coming up on 10 minutes. Thank you much, Ave Gamers, and until the next time.